Yo, yo, what up, y'all? So thanks to everybody that checked out part one. Um, we're going to now go into part two and just build out the rest of the beat. <clears throat> As you can see on the screen, I've copied the beat all the way over. We're going to do 16 bars for the hook and 24 for the verses. Um, so I've copied it over, just duplicated everything over and over and over and over again. So now I'm just going to chisel away parts of each file to make the verses. You know what? I can't really hear. Let's turn up our ticking percussion a little bit. Yeah, let's turn those up. Let's put this up here. I want to kind of have, you know what? Let's look for a marching band loop or some type of drum line. Let me see. Snare roll, continuous. Let's see. I already know that's going to sound good. Y'all hear how nice that, how it pushes the beat forward? Woo. All right, let's play the whole drum line or the drum section. And we'll see what that addition did. First, I'll play it without it, and then I'll put it in, and you'll hear what it does. Let's put it back in now. All right, so I hear some body in this that I want to take out that's going to possibly clash with my low mids in the mix. So we'll just cut some of that out from now. That part, those toms. Not a lot. We'll just take out a little. Not a lot. We'll just take out a little bit. Let's play it in context and see how it sounds. Yeah, it sounds better with that cut at 135. Um because I didn't want it to take away from my kick and the bass energy down there. I'm going to send that to some reverb to kind of give it some depth in the back of the mix. Um, all right, we'll do that when it comes to mix time. Let's finish crafting out the rest of the beat. All right, so I know those are going on my... Let me just do it all the way across, and then we'll take it out accordingly. You dig? Let's put a transition to separate the first half of the hook from the last part of the hook. Oh, that's going to sound good going into the verse. Watch this. Let's drag that over here. All right. 
right, so I already know I'm going to need some space, so let's slide everything over. And then I'm going to have it have the verse start right there. Let's add a riser to take us up into that verse also. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I wanted to hit on that one. All right, so let's add a fade so that it can decay a little quicker. And I already know I'm going to take some low end out on that hit. So let's tail our first a little bit. Let's take our drum line. Skinny this up to so we'll take the first ticks out. And I'll make my um tom hits smaller also. By deleting some layers so that we have something to look forward to because you always want it to build as you progress into your hook or throughout your song so it has dynamics the song is breathing i'm taking some of the elements out so that the vocal or the story of the song can come through and not be distracting or fighting with the lyric right matter of fact since we have three sections let's do this i'm going to take out both loops the ticking loops high percussion and just have the hi-hat oh sorry it's not what I want to do. I'm going to take the hi-hat out and have that percussion by itself, see how it sounds. Gonna cut out some of this. Let's take this hit out. This Tom hit out. This one out too. All right, I'll bring this one back since we took that second one out. All right, let's keep that hi hat out since I'm bringing in this second layer of tick right here or percussion. And it takes the place of my hi-hat, the movement. Let's take our drumline snare out. All right, let's go on in 
into that last part of that verse. Let's put a little break here. Uh, yeah, then we'll just do a little fade. Let's take out our brass for now. Take these toms out. I'll take the second ones out on this section. I want to do another break here. Yeah, let's do another break. And we'll add another riser right here. So we're going to fade that to prevent any pops or clicks. Let's grab another riser. All right, all right, all right, all right. So based on the waveform, I can see it's going to drop around here. So... I can put a fade in here. See some. So we'll turn that down. And I already know in the mix, I'm going to send that to a lot of reverb. So then once again, give it depth and push it back in the mix. So we can gain it down. Let's go down about six. Nah, let me do 10. go up to about six need it a little louder more dramatic and of course i'll adjust that volume based on what's being said in the song at that point all right and then on the hook we bring back in our um drum line snare and hi-hat All right, so let's listen to the verse real quick. I'm gonna take the, the 
bass, second part. I'm gonna have the verse do a tape stop or the bass do a tape stop. So right click on any fade, you right click and you see slow down right here. Slow down or fade, cross fade and all that other stuff, right? Let me extend that bass out. All right, so going into that hook after this transition or this transition effect, I want to, let's add another one to bring us up into the hook. Let's see what that one sounds like. I want some space between the, this one and when this one starts. So we'll cut that back there and then do a fade on it. Put the fade a little deeper. Let's see what that sounds like. Start a little later. I'm going to layer that with another um, rising hit or a riser or whatever you want to call it just to give it a little more impact it's all about the layers now i'm going to look for a big hit on the one to give me impact back into that hook. Okay, let's see what adding this downer does to the... Yeah, I like it. Let me cut some of them subs out. Just a little bit, might, just a little bit. And I'll fade it just to here. Take this percussion out and see what happens. I want those hits to um, come through. Yeah, I like that better. All right, cool. And I already know that I hear I want some type of symbol on that hook or glass effect or something like that. So let's see what we can find. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's put a little fade on it and I'm gonna turn that down. All right, so I just want the top end of that and cut all of this bottom energy out. Let's go to about there. All right, let's listen to that second verse coming out of that first hook.
Hold up. I think that hit coming out of that hook could be a little bigger. So let's fatten that up. Yeah, let's go with that one. Drop it right there. Let's see if we can make something for the verse. Something we need a harmonic element. I don't want that main uh, brass section in that part of the verse. Let's look for that. Brah! Yeah, I already hear it's not in key, so we'll fix that. Oops. So I just transposed it one. Let's hear what it sounds like coming out of the hook. Let me cut some of that sub energy out because it's overshadowing or overpowering my main sub bass. Better yet, let's do this. Let's roll some back and we'll take the sub bass out or the 808. She a little too mean. Let's turn it down. Let's go negative five. Let's see. Back in. All right, let me find another short swoosh. Let's see what this does. I can, I know I'm going to have to shorten it already. I can hear. Now, of course, normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't add these parts, these extra, um, what you want to call it? Air candy or hits or sweeps until I hear what the vocalist is saying, um, because I might want to add impact to the lyrical choice if he says something or she says something that's like, yeah, and you want to whoo, hit that part. But for now, you get what I'm doing. I want to take these out now. You see how taking that fill out that came or started earlier? Now you can hear my um, my sub bass through the tape. Stop. I like my glass, but I still want a uh, crash right there so let's just do let's do a simple logic stock crash all right so i'm going to test to see what some strings sound like on that verse section um if i like it we'll keep it if not we throw it out the window Play 
this one out instead of letting the loop do what the loop does. That's the loop right there. And I'm just holding it down the chord. Let's see what. Let's try that. try let's go to our friend arcade and see if we can get some get some air candy let's see we can do e major or c sharp minor let's do c sharp minor and let's see what do we want what do we want what do we want what do we want Oh, I like it already. Yeah. Let's see what else we can get out of that. Put another sweep right there or a hit. Let's see. <clears throat> let's go about there. All right, let's turn it down. All right, let's see what else we can get from Arcade. Um, let's look for some. Let me do cinematic. Let's search cinematic. See what they have. Cinematic. Um, which one we just did? Nope. Not drill. Ooh. I might can use that vocal. Ooh, choir.
ska göra det. Just a little air candy, that's it. Just a little air candy. Let's see how we sound on that verse coming out of that first hook. I knew I heard it. I want I want that first note on the tuba. Let's let's see how it sounds. It might not work. Let's see how it sounds. All right. So we'll do it in the second part of that first verse. second part of the hook also for impact let's also add this sweep to the second part of the hook do we want to go straight into the second verse uh, let's see Oh yeah, yeah. Let's use that for the second verse. So let's start breaking out the second verse. Uh, what are we taking out? What are we taking out? Let's leave the drum line in there. Let's take our hi-hat out and let the percussion steal the show. So we'll probably leave the fill, the hi-hat fills in, but I'll take out the main hi-hat. Let's take that out and see what it sounds like. Do a full, uh, a full mute right there. Let's let it come back in right there. Let's put another swoop or sweep.
Let's put our strings back in there. Let's put our tubers back in there too. On that one. strings there let's do a break on that put a fade to prevent pops and clicks let's do another mute on this section uh, I think I want to take out let's take out these let me see what out there Jump my snare. Uh, I don't know if I like it, but we'll leave it for now. What if we put a downer on the entire, let's try this. I don't want to, I thought I wanted to go right back into the second verse, but I kind of want that downer there. It'll give the editor something to cut to also. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so, all right. Let's fade that out. And let's find another riser to put in there in another hit. Let's do a hit first for big impact. Let me take out some of this low end. I can hear the two frequencies rubbing. Now I need a big swoosh, swoosh up into that verse. Woo! Yeah, something like that. All right, let's see. Need it on that one. So where's our one right here? Lord. See what my sub frequencies look like right there. Yeah, I know I heard it rebel. I don't want it to overshadow my 808, so that's why I keep taking out the uh, super sub frequencies. That low, 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 low. I just want the impact, but still keep a little body in it. You know what I'm saying? Back up. 
go. Let's go with negative 2.5. I think I want to use the first part of that, but let's see how we do it. Yeah, I just want that. Let's do half. Let's do... And then I'm gonna layer it, layer it with another. Ba 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 da 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 da. -da. All right, so let's gain that hit down. I hope y'all seen the importance of all these hits and transition effects in the uh, record, especially when you're talking about um, a sports sync type record. All right, let me take some of that. You already know by now, sub frequencies out. Okay, so let's come out of the first hook into the second verse now. Let's do a riser to take us out for more impact. Let's do a fade. And I already know I want to turn it down, so let's duck it. About 8 dBs or so. dead stop right here i don't want it to um carry over into where these hits are You know what? I like that feel, but let's turn it up. I think that's probably why I wasn't vibing it and I need it to be bigger than that. Yeah, let's go up plus six and see. Alright, 
right, so we're doing a full stop right here. And we'll find another transition effect. Let me see. Oh. Let's take out the ticks. Oh, did I take out my, um, yes, I did. Second verse. Gotta do it. I know y'all heard it too. <laughs> Put another boom in it. All right. Yeah. For impact. Let me take out some of that sub. Because I hear it clashing with my toms. Oops, I'm on my riser. Tripping. Scan it down a little bit. Let's go for. Let's go three five. I'm gonna take my times out and my tycos. Take this roll out too. All right, yeah, that's what I want. So let's turn this back up. We just do one big hit. Zero. And then I'll add another riser. Good old faithful. All right, yeah, let's do that. So we need that to drop on the one. So let's pull this all the way back here till it fades off. About that. Let me see. Let's put our bra 
Psalms back in on that second verse too. second verse and see what it feels like and sound All right, y'all, we almost there. Last hook, last hook, last hook. Um, what do I want to add on the last hook? Let's put some of these hits. hook the grand finale sauce it a little bit. Let's go back to the arcade see what we can get from there. <clears throat> Just a little more air candy. Of course, I'm listening to make sure I don't take away from my um, brass, since that's the star of the show. Yeah, we'll just add that. Stop. 
stop it. This is what the full loop sounds like. I don't need all of that though, so let's just do that first part. Oops. Call that choir. Now I'm just gonna filter out with the EQ. Let's filter out some low mids. Wonder what our strings will sound like back in there. Doing the little chops. Let's see. Oops. Don't do that. Come on. We'll put it on the second half only. Let's get a let's get a riser to take us on home. Let's find a few risers, stack them up. To take us on home, the good old stinger, regardless of what you do, if you don't have this part in your track for sync, it's not getting placed. You need that good old stinger. All right, we're going to stack that one. Ooh, juicy, juicy. All right, let's see. We need that transient to hit on the one. Jesus. All right, it's a little late and I can hear it, so let's turn off our grid and slide it over just a hair. I'd rather be a little early. That's how you end the record. Chill. But that might be an issue because I don't know. Man, hey, somebody call Madden. Somebody call EA Sports. Put me in the game, coach. 
Yeah, yeah, we're going to put that one in there. More impact. Can't have enough impacts. Enough dynamics. It's all about the dynamics in the record. It's all about the dynamics. Smidge. Let's bring it back up a smidge. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Let's see what our last hook sounds like coming out of that first. You know what? I want a. I need a a riser, but I need it to be. Yeah, we used this one before, so. Turn my grid back on. So let's bring this to the big transient and our hook starts here. So we'll let's see what it's, let's do a fade all the way up into that last hit or when the other transitions start match the energy. And let me bring it down. All right, coming out of that hook, out of that verse. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, we built out the first verse, hook, second hook, um, second verse, last hook. So from here, I'll have the vocals done if I don't do it here myself with the artist. I'll have the artist record it wherever they record it, send me back the vocal files, and then I'll mix everything on my side, and I'll show y'all what the mix process is like. But um, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for um, sharing the videos. Please share. If you found value in this, please like, please subscribe if you're not subscribed, because my analytics tell me that a lot of y'all not subscribed. So I need you to subscribe, please. Don't forget, you can always gift or tip if you find value in this video. All right. Share this with somebody. One love.